today's recipe, I'm taking you back to my home state. That's right, back to my days on the farm, the bluegrass state of Kentucky. We're gonna take a big pumpernickel round. I've got some cheddar, some gouda, gaier, gier, and there's beer in this recipe, beer cheese. Okay, let's get this recipe going. I've got a one pound pumpernickel. This is the hardest part of this whole recipe, right? Because you don't want to cut through this guy. You want to keep a floor in it and you don't want to go too far down on the sides. And all we're doing is making a bread bowl, right? What about that? Now, you can take a spoon and pull this up. I go a little bit slower than you probably because I'm worried I'm gonna poke a hole in the bottom, which I don't wanna do. And you can just pull this out just like so. And you wanna leave about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch, right? That's it. Now for the bread, you can cut it up, you can tear it up. I've been at parties where somebody just tears it up with their fingers. It's up to you how you want to do it. But you can use this for dipping. Let's set our bread aside. One quarter stick of butter. Just going to melt that down. And to our melted butter, I've got three tablespoons of flour. And we're going to make, if you will, like a mini roux. Now I've got about three quarters of a cup of half and half. A lot of folks use milk. I like to use half and half. You can see it's thickening up. Just want to keep stirring it. I've got this, I had the heat on medium and now it's about medium low. A whisk works great for this. The only problem is, is when you make a video that metal whisk on the stainless steel pan makes a lot of noise. All right. Now, I've got half of a Modelo. Use whatever beer you want. Half a teaspoon dried garlic powder. Half a teaspoon onion powder. It's a little humid here today in Florida. Everything is sticking on me. One quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. One teaspoon smoked paprika. I'm sorry, I said one teaspoon. I meant to say one half of a teaspoon. One quarter teaspoon each. Kosher salt, fresh, cracked black pepper. Now we've got some stone ground mustard. About a tablespoon. And then about, I don't know, two-thirds to a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, is it smelling good? Now let's start adding the really good stuff. I've got eight ounces Freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Make sure you shred your own cheese. Don't buy that pre-shredded stuff. You want this to all melt in together. And that package stuff, I don't know what's on it, but it doesn't blend in real well. And here I've got four ounces each Gouda. And I know I can't say it properly. Gaier. Gear, however you say it, I know I like it. And I've still got this burner on medium low. Just want to melt this cheese down. And you can see it's getting good and cheesy, it's thickening up. Oh, I can still smell that beer. Yummy. Here I've got about three and a half pieces of fried, chopped up bacon. 
Now I need to add a little bit more liquid. You got two options here. You can put a little bit more of the beer in it or you can add another four to five ounces of half and half. The half and half will make it creamier. So I'm gonna come back in and add a little bit more of that beer. So now I've added about three quarters of a 12 ounce beer. It's been, I don't know, eight, 10 minutes. Now let's move our cheese, it's all done. Now we got that bread back here. Let's pour our cheese in here. Cheese and bacon, all those other goodies. I think that's just about right. What do you say? Then I've got green onion. Garnish it up there a little bit. And if you'll remember, I said I put three and a half pieces of bacon. That's because I kept a little for the garnish. There it is. You saw how easy that was to make, right? I'm going to try it out with that uh, piece of bread that uh, we took out. You get that beer flavor, a little of that. Worcestershire, it's just very well blended, mixed, great flavor. Absolutely full of flavor. You can see here we got it served up with some carrots, with some little pretzel bites. Now, if you were in Kentucky getting beer cheese, it would come with pretzel. It's great for your next party, having people over. Of course, it's just me. But, you know, if you're having some people over, you might want to have some toothpicks for the bread and stuff like that. Anyway, you saw how easy it was to do the whole thing. We put it together in probably 20 minutes. Beer cheese, super easy. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.